right, everyone. Ron Kreider reporting for duty again today. This is my Ron's Sherry Mushroom Soup. It's quite easy to make. There's uh, half a, oh, probably three or four different types of mushrooms in this soup. There's a little bit of um, sherry, some onions, some chopped carrots, and just a little bit of garlic. That's about it. And, of course, we have here the extra virgin olive oil. So what we're going to do with the extra virgin olive oil is just put a little bit of it in the pan. Not very much. Not a whole lot. Here you can see uh, just, a, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. It's, it'll spread out quite a bit when it starts to cook. Now we're going to put these carrots in. These are chopped carrots. You can see they're chopped they're kind of fine. And you want to cook these guys for about three minutes. Make sure that they, we're not trying to cook them too much, just enough to begin to start to create some flavors in here. Now we're going to add the chopped onions. We we'll cook these guys for about three minutes, two or three minutes, just enough to get them to begin to get a little translucent and they'll start releasing some of the moisture. You'll notice eventually as we get going here that there's moisture in the bottom of the pan. That's a good thing. Now we're going to add in the garlic, some chopped garlic, as much garlic as you want. I didn't put too much in. This recipe is, you can kind of make it any way you want to. Look at these, uh, these are the button mushrooms that we're putting in here now. And that was two containers of them like you get at the grocery store. I don't know exactly how many they were. Quite, a, you can see they really shrink up a lot once you put them in here. And music in the background is a little psychedelic type mushroom music. You can stick a quarter of a stick of butter in there. I use this uh, olive oil sea salt butter. It's kind of interesting. I've been using that for quite a bit of cooking lately. Let's add a little bit of extra flavor to the mixture here. Now we're going to add the other mushrooms. These are the cremini and the portobello and the shiitake mushrooms. We're going to cook those for another about three minutes. The portobello, cremini, and shiitake mushrooms add a little bit more flavor than the button mushrooms do. I stuck a little bit more butter in here because I hadn't used quite all of it when I put it in the last time. Now we're going to add in about a quarter of a cup of sherry, depending on uh, how much you like sherry, what kind of sherry flavoring you like. Now, if you don't want to put any alcohol in it, uh, such as this sherry, it's perfectly okay. It'll come out tasting just as good, except you won't have that sherry flavor. But it won't upset the, uh, the, the ingredients. It won't upset the flavor of it. It'll be very good. I'm going to cook this for about five minutes because what we want the vegetables to do is absorb this sherry that we put in there so that they're pretty well saturated with the sherry. So as we begin to put the stock in, it will have the flavor already of the sherry in with the vegetables. Okay, we have the salt and pepper we're going to put in now. I, this is ground sea salt. And I've also put quite a bit of pepper in there because I do like pepper and I like ground pepper, actually coarse ground pepper. So you'll notice that I put quite a bit of pepper in there, but I'm a pepper fan, so... Then mix it up just a little bit after you finish putting the pepper in so that it gets infused into all the vegetables. And now we're going to add in the uh, chicken stock, chicken broth, chicken stock. And this is about 32 ounces we're going to put in here. Again, this has to do with how uh, 
soupy you would like to have it. If you want it real thick, you will put less in. If you want it more soupy, you will put more in. I was going to put two in, and I actually owned two of these cans, and I actually only needed one. Now we're going to cook this for about five minutes. And we're going to take out the vegetables. Notice that's kind of like a strainer. So we're going to take about probably about a, a half a cup, uh, one and a half cups of these vegetables and put it into the blender over here. And the idea here is we're going to make this soup a little thicker by doing it this way rather than adding flour to it and it will taste a whole lot better and just chop this all up and eventually you'll see that we're going to add in a little bit of the broth from the soup from the soup pot so that it's a little bit runny when you take it out of this blender and put back into the uh, cooking pot so I just got some of uh, over there probably about a quarter of a cup of broth out of there and stuck it in and then we'll blend this together turned it around so you can take a look at the side of it get an idea of what we're doing with it there and here you go we're gonna put it in here as you can see the consistency is pretty heavy but then it gets mixed in with the other broth in there and it will begin to start to cook. Now, a good thing to do is take this and have it simmer for a couple of hours if you can, if you have the time to do it. Let it simmer for a number of hours depending on how much you want it to reduce because obviously the longer, longer that it simmers, the more flavor it will have because it will reduce. And there you go. That's pretty much the whole whole deal for this mushroom soup sherry mushroom soup and then we take this uh, soup out and we're going to put it into a little soup terrine and here you go and I sprinkled some uh, finely chopped parsley on top of it and that's it Ron's sherry mushroom soup if you like it give me a like would appreciate it very much have a great day